Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you Pi functionality for your Google Chrome browser. As you already know about Pi navigation on your device, this Chrome Pi adds more functionality for your Google Chrome browser. This can be installed through Expose Framework. I'll be leaving a link in my video description as how to get Expose Framework for your Android Lollipop. Installation procedure is simple. You just have to go to your Expose module, go towards the download section, search for the Chrome Pi on your device and install the version that is listed. After installation, you just have to go to your modules, check the Chrome Pi box and reboot your device. After that, you're good to go. After rebooting your device, you can go to your Chrome Pi application and manage the settings from there. For instance, you can edit the Pi menu items, set your trigger position on your Google Chrome browser. You can also increase or decrease the Pi menu size and also increase or decrease your trigger area size. So when you go into your Google Chrome browser, you can see 5 Pi controls available. Through this control, you will be able to switch your mobile site version to your desktop version and vice versa. The arrow option will allow you to refresh your page, go back to your previous page that you have visited or go forward to your page. The browser option will allow you to share your page through your social networking applications or make your URL visible to browse. The two page option will allow you to close the page. It also allows you to open incognito window for private browsing. You will be also able to open a new tab to access a new site or whatever you want. And also you will be able to multitask between tabs. You can also bookmark your page using this Chrome Pi option which is available on your Google Chrome. So guys, this is Chrome Pi which is available for your Google Chrome browser through Expose module. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below whether it's useful for you or not. Hope you guys like this video and if you do, please hit the like option down below. Follow me on Google+, Twitter and Instagram and also do remain subscribe for the more Android content that I'll be uploading in the near future. Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.